Hello friends, welcome to our third episode. This time, we honor the life of Bohol's most illustrious son, the late President Carlos P. Garcia. Here at the Capitol, the old Capitol which is now a national museum, President Carlos P. Garcia held office as governor of the province of Bohol. We will tell you the rest of the story about this great man from his childhood up to the time he served as President of the Republic and until his death. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the life story of the late President Carlos P. Garcia. On the 4th of November, 1896, in the town of Talibon, Bohol, Carlos P. Garcia was born to Policronio Garcia and Ambrosia Polistico. He received his early education in his hometown of Talibon and went to Cebu Provincial High School for his secondary education. He later on pursued a college degree at Siliman University in Dumaguete City and study of law at the Philippine Law School in Manila. He then became one of the top 10 pastors of the bar examinations. Kaloy, as he was then known, became a teacher, a lawyer, a poet, earning him the title Prince of his hind poets and the barb from Bohol. Kaloy was likewise an avid chess player. On May 24, 1933, he married Leonila de Mataga and had a daughter, Linda Garcia Campos. It was no surprise that CPG later on entered public service as his father was a four-term mayor of their town. In 1925, Garcia was elected to the House of Representatives representing the 3rd District of Bohol. He was then elected as governor of the province of Bohol in 1933, senator in 1941, and vice president of the republic in 1953. As Vice President, he likewise served as Secretary of Foreign Affairs in the administration of President Ramon Magsaysay. Upon the death of President Magsaysay, Garcia succeeded into office as President of the Republic on March 18, 1957. A few months later, on November 12, 1957, Garcia was elected as President garnering 41.3% of the votes. As president, Garcia became known for his first Filipino policy, which prioritized Filipino-owned businesses and promoted Filipino-made products. His administration also highlighted Filipino culture and established the Republic Culture Awards for artists, scientists, historians, and writers. Garcia served as president until December 30, 1961. After his term, he retired as a private citizen in his home province of Bohol. Garcia was called back to public service when he was elected president of the 1971 Constitutional Convention. However, a few days after his election, he died of heart attack on June 14, 1971. Other than admiration for Garcia as the country's only president from Bohol, I also feel a personal attachment to him and his legacy. As a schoolboy studying at Divine Word College of Tagbilaran Elementary Department, I used to pass by his residence on my way to school from our parents' rented room at Borja's residence along J.A. Clarin Street. From the gates, out of curiosity, I stopped to take a closer look at the house, which to me more looks like a big mansion. I knew he was around when I see people going inside, with many cars parked along the street fronting his residence. I wish that someday I will have a chance to see what is inside the president's home.
I was very excited when my dad told me that President Carlos B. Garcia was going to visit us in Balilihan. I held my dad's hand as we walked in front of the Balilihan Municipal Building with the late president. As vice governor then, during the term of Governor René Rilampagos, the Provincial Board of Bohol passed an ordinance establishing the CPG scholarship program for deserving underprivileged Boholano students. The program has since produced many Boholano professionals whose work honors the legacy of Carlos P. Garcia. During my first run in Congress, I had the honor of heading the President Carlos P. Garcia Foundation as requested by the family of the late president, led by his son-in-law, former Department of National Defense Under Secretary Fernando Campos. Among the foundation's initiatives were the CPG Monument and CPG Markers along CPG Avenue in Taguig. During my first term as Governor of Bohol, we made official arrangements with the Garcia family for a lot donation to establish Cafe Caloy in his residence and for the provincial government to maintain the CPG Ancestral Home and Museum, which is now declared a heritage and historical landmark. Every year, on the 4th of November, we continue to honor the life of Bohol's most illustrious son. Every day, we honor his legacy by putting the Filipinos first. President Carlos P. Garcia continues to inspire generations of Boholanos, most especially the younger generations of today. His monument is the site of the yearly celebration of his birth anniversary. Now, it is fronting the new provincial capital of the province of Bohol. Let us remember, President Carlos P. Garcia provided inspiration, guidance to many leaders of our province. And he will continue to live on because of the footsteps that he has left behind. Thank you for joining us and please see you again in the next episode.